Well, hello again. Um, my last video uh, was on the um, the bush restoration, and I'm still waiting for those components to come. But before I start this video, I must make an apologies for the sound on the last one. Um, it was appalling, and uh, it wasn't until the final edit, when I when I was publishing it, um, that I realised that. Uh, um, it was bad. I couldn't redo it because it was a live video and I was actually doing stuff on the radio. Um, but please accept my apologies for that. It was all down to a microphone too close to a fluorescent light tube. So, sorry. This video is going to be back to the BBC computer. Um, and as I said previously, I'm not really a computer expert, um, but I do like... Uh, um, old computers and stuff that, uh, especially the BBC, um, stuff from the past. And this video is a little bit about the update. Remember the last one I made was about doing the power supply on it and, and putting the capacitors in to stop it smoking and making horrible noises. This one is about um, a little um, device that I bought um, for £25 on the internet uh, and it was an MMC card, a, a miniature micro, um, a memory card, um, which uh, slightly different to an SD card, but we're not going to go into that now, um, slightly smaller and less capacity, um, which I bought. Um, and uh, I fitted that card now. Um, initially, it came with lots, well, it does come with lots of games on it, uh, which are amazing, um, but I wanted to use it to store my programs on rather than um, using the tape recorder um, uh, uh, and uh, cassette mechanism to load uh, and, and save programs. So this video is a little bit about that. It's not going to be too technical uh, because I'm basically not that technical on, on, on computers. Um, but I thought it might be useful if any of you have got a BBC and have bought one of these cards just to do a short video on it. Um, but first of all, I'm filming in my uh, a location I haven't filmed in before, and it's my what I call my music uh, my music center. Um, <laughs> it's uh, a room which uh, in the cellar actually, um, in which I edit and and um, and uh, listen to music and and do other um, work on my audio stuff because essentially I do love music, and I hope the quality of this video. Uh, and the sound particularly is going to be much, much better. So let's get started. OK, before we get stuck into the BBC, let's have a look at some of my retro um, vintage uh, audio equipment. Um, I've got a, a Yamaha uh, tape deck. Um, also, there, there, there's a Sherwood uh, tuner ramp, um, with, with, which I use for my main selector uh, of um, tape. Uh, vinyl or, or CD and then a Philips um, standard Philips CD player um, and then on the other side we go to where I'm actually doing the editing um, and that is uh, I'm using uh, uh, some audio cleaning software and uh, that is um, quite interesting to do that clean up some uh, uh, scratchy vinyl and various other things like that so spend a bit of time doing that stuff so, moving away from the uh, audio cleaning area, I come into my um, vintage or my retro uh, computer bit where I've got my trusted BBC um, set up and uh, we're going to be looking very briefly at the uses I've got from the MMC card which I've recently installed. When the kit arrived, uh, inside was this um, PCB, a uh, very small little device. Uh, with a chip mounted on it and uh, also a holder for the MMC card which you can see in, in the bottom left. It also came with a ribbon cable which plugs into the back of the BBC, one of the ports. So that was it. Uh, also, not seen, it came with a ROM chip which had to be plugged into a spare ROM drive in the uh, in, inside the BBC itself in a spare ROM slot. Um, once that was done and powered up, 
everything worked right away without any issues at all. If you want to know more about fitting the, the ROM chip and installing this, there are many videos on YouTube which deal exactly with that. But this video is going to be specifically about the use I am putting it to. When you first power up after loading, um, after uh, installing this card, um, you will come up with BBC Computer Super MMC Basic. Now I was a bit worried initially that I would lose the ability to save to tape and to load from tape because I have quite a lot of stuff on tape and I have quite a lot of tape programs as well. Um, but that is not the case. You do star tape and you're back into your tape mode. You can do whatever you want from your, your normal tape system. Or you can go to star card and this will is where things get really exciting because on star card you have actually four drives on this thing um, 0, 1, 2 and 3 and each drive has over 500 um, um, uh, discs if you like or slots where you can uh, you can name um, and you can load files into, you can read files from. It also comes preloaded with a lot of uh, utilities and excitingly a lot of games um, and uh, if I go into th this particular location, um, star d b dot zero, it will come up with um, about 16 pages of games, a and it's just absolutely amazing. And they're all preloaded on there. Um, and uh, let's just go into um, one uh, alien destroyers. Let's see what that's about. Um, I guess it's going to be about um, alien destroyers. Okay, what have we got? Okay. Oh, I'm not going to uh, uh, persist on that. So let's escape from that and uh, let's escape again uh, and break and go back. Um, I'm going to put in star card again because one of the things you can do here um, is to create your own location. Now I've actually um, created one on drive 2 so if I just go to star drive 2 and then the location I've chosen is DIN uh, 500 so if I do um, star DIN 500 um, and then uh, do a category on that, star cat on that, it will come up um, with this particular file uh, which I've named my data um, and it tells me the directory it's in and the drive it's in and uh, the games I've put on it. Now, um, I am writing uh, with my grandson who I'm teaching to code a program called Calc, um, which is a basic uh, calculator which gives you various selections. So if I want to load that, I just put LOAD Calc. Close the bracket, close the marks, and uh, list. So it's already list loaded, and there's a list of it. And if I run it, it asks me. Do I want to put in a number? So I'll put in one, which takes me to uh, add, and I'll put in um, just a random number to add, and the second number to add, and it gives me the answer. And obviously, you can do that. Well, he's going to continue writing that to subtract um, and and uh, do various other things, multiply and divide. So um, it is really really good. So star card. And then um, I'll put, go into my drive again. So if I do star uh, drive two, and then star uh, uh, din five hundred, and then cat uh, star cat. Make that mistake every time. It basically takes me into that drive. Now if I um, write a program in here, 
So there are, I'm in my drive and I've got um, Dave Oliver, Colk, High and Test written in there. Um, but I can also now start to uh, write a program. So if I go to Auto It will give me my start of my program. So let's do something really, really simple. Let's do um, uh, print and and then go back and say go to uh, ten and finish and then um, escape from that, list it and then run we'll get the usual looping thing that goes on here. Um, okay so that's a very simple program but if I want to save it I just do um, I just do uh, star save and then um, give it a name uh, loop Uh, save rather, not star save. And it's saved. Um, so then I can load. Do that and it's loaded and I can then run it again. And there it goes. So um, the significance of this is, is, is superb because uh, it's so quick and it's so instant um, and uh, it, it unleashes a whole new um, a whole new range of, of, of activities I can actually do on this BBC. Well that's about it for this. Um, the machine does come, uh, the kit does come with this uh, fantastic um, CD uh, if you load it into your laptop or in your mainframe, um, it will give you not only all the instruction manuals that you could possibly need, um, I printed mine out because it's a good reference, uh, but there's also lots and lots of other utilities on there which you can, um, you can actually save. And th there's another manual there um, which tells you all about saving and, and moving files around on that, uh, on that card. Um, I'm very pleased with it. It cost me £25 and uh, there's so much stuff on there. Uh, but the main advantage is that I've got, um, without using a, 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 a floppy drive, which can notoriously unreliable, um, I've really got a hard, uh, a solid state drive on that machine now, um, which, which does everything I need it to do. Um, it's not going to stay mounted where it is. I, I really don't like it there. So it can be hid away, but I've just put it there for the purposes of this video. Um, so thanks very much for watching. Um, oh, one other thing. When you select a drive um, to make your own and to name yourself, it may come up to say drive not formatted. But there is a simple um, command D, um, D form and uh, uh, and if you type in default star deform, um, it will actually uh, format that drive for you, and then it will allow you to name it uh, whatever you want. And you do as many of those as you want um, for different things. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, I do appreciate that a lot of you, that for a lot of you, uh, this is old hat, and 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 you already know all this stuff. Um, but basically, I, I just thought I'd share it for those of you who are just beginning to use the BBC uh, or rediscovered the BBC uh, and also want to enhance its features. So um, thank you for watching and as always, take care.